Good evening. 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 How was your day? Fine, thank you, teacher. Okay, Fine. I'm glad to know that. It was a good day, yes, thank you. Thank you for asking. Okay, okay. good evening, Anna. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the class number three. Okay, this is our third class. And let me share with you the screen for the presentation. I'm going to share with you this class. Just give me a moment, I need to look at. Today we're going to start a new topic. The topic is can and should. I'm sure that you study this in the platform in the section one and two. <laughs> You've been working on this. So today, we, if you have any questions, you will have the opportunity to ask the teacher. So in the session, modal verbs can and should will be introduced in a conversation. And also can and should will be taught in order to ask and answer questions. So we have first recalling previous knowledge or recalling previous class. Then we are going to go over the use of should and can, the auxiliary, these auxiliary verbs. We are gonna have a conversation time and wrap up. So we're going to start by practicing the conjunctions that we learned yesterday in the class. Do you remember the conjunctions? We use them to link two ideas. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Okay, what is the conjunction that we use to add more information? But, and. Uh, and. And, yes. Yeah. To contrast two ideas? But. 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 So we can use however. But the difference but. is that those, what is the difference? Where I place, where do I place those in the sentence? At the beginning or at the end? Okay. You can. At the end. Yeah, it's, it's at the end. Okay, so let's yeah. practice with these sentences. I will ask some people to read the sentence and tell me the correct answer, okay? So number one, I will ask Andrea Esther, please. Can you repeat, please? Okay, Andrea, read the sentence and choose the correct option. Okay. The spring in my series were very nice and I get strongly hot in summer. Okay, what is the correct uh, option of conjunctions? But exactly, but the spring in my city is pretty nice, but it gets extremely hot in the summer. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two, Milagro de la Paz. Um, my favorite TV show is on. I'm too tired to watch it. Um, let me think. <laughs> okay, thought maybe. Thought. So, yes, because it has <laughs> the end of the sentence, yes. So, my favorite TV show is on, I'm too tired to watch it. Okay, number three, Juan David Madrid. Hey, there are some great uh, museo museums. They are always strong with. The correct is shower, shower. However. However. However, excuse me, yes. excuse me. So there are some great museums. They are always crowded, however. 
Okay, so we have two contrast opinions, great museums, but they are always crowded. In this case, we use Howard. Okay, uh, next, let's see, Patricia Esmeralda. Number four. Uh, Number four. We, were going to, okay. we were going to the park and it started to rain. What is the correct option? And. But it's at the end of the sentence. Um, we were going to the park. It is started to and rain. See if, if it were, if it was in the middle, yes. But it's at the end. Si estuviera aquí, si fuera en. Pero está al final. We were going to the park. It started to um, rain. However. Uh -huh. Okay, number five. Ingrid Flores. Please, number five. She wanted to buy a newspaper. She didn't have enough money. But exactly, so she wanted to buy a newspaper, but there's a problem, she didn't have enough money. Okay, number six, Maria Jose. Okay, there are a lot of interesting stores, and many of them aren't expensive. Very good, yes, so there are a lot of interesting stores. And the good thing is that many of them are in expense. Okay. Uh, number seven, Geraldine. She likes to put cheese. And have his, his sandwich. Sandwich, yes. Thank you, Geraldine. Number eight, Lorena. Uh, my mom prepared the sandwich for the picnic. She forgot the soda. Uh, but, uh, sorry, so. Yes, but lo usaremos si estuviera aquí. In this, mm -hmm. Right, but she forgot. Yeah. But at the end of the sentence, we use dough. Okay, dough is at the end of the sentence. Number nine, Mirna Janet Landos. New York is a very beautiful place. It's too dangerous, uh, oh, however. However, 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 very good, um, eh, Miss Landos. Okay, next, let's see, number 10. Number 10, Nelson. Hello? Are you there, Nelson? Okay, maybe another person. Stephanie Quintanilla? Okay. My city is a great place to visit. Don't come in summer town. Don't come in the summer though. My city is a great place to visit, but don't come in the summer because I live in San Miguel and in the summer it's very hot. <laughs> Thank you so much. We have more, we have more exercises in the next slide. Don't worry, if you want to participate, you still have some opportunities. Ana Beatriz Martinez, you can do it, Ana. I have sushi. But I love pizza. Very nice. That's mm -hmm. correct. Okay, number 12. Luis, Ibrian. Okay. And Daniela visited, visited, visited her grandma yesterday. He forgot to tell to him mom. Tough. Yes. Good job. 
Jacqueline Vanessa, gracias, Anche. Number 13. Carlos is a very good friend. He is always busy. And the correct is M. We are contrasting two ideas here. He's a good friend. He's always too busy. Perdón, Miss, pero ayer no pude estar. Ah, um, no, uh -huh. Okay, help. Bad. Bad, bad, exactly. Carlos is a good friend, but he's always too busy. Okay, uh, let's see yeah, number 13. Um, Aleida? Yes. Jessica went to Hawaii last year. She said many good places. Uh, and um, yes, she went to Hawaii and she saw many good places. And the last one, Sandra yes. Correa? Santo Domingo is a amazing, amazing city. Amazing city. I don't like somewhere. I don't like it. However, How I don't I like it. However, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very nice. So let's go over the next. Uh, in the next slides, we are going to see a different activities that we can do in different places in the city, okay? So you can tell me. Um, look at the first picture. And what can you do in this place? What is this place and what can you do here? Mm -hmm. What is the play? There are Rock people the in the music, musician. Theater. Yeah, what, what is the play? The theater. Okay. What can you do at the theater? <coughs> you can hear a concert. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Singer and uh, or pian piano. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can listen to uh, orchestra <laughs> or know. an orchestra. Yes, an orchestra or um people playing a the piano, right? Or you can watch a play. You can watch a play. Okay, what is the second place? Uh, maybe watch a opera in supermarket. 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 What can you do at the supermarket? Uh, we can buy a grocery. You can buy the groceries. All the things you need for your house and for your life. <laughs> okay, what is this number three? Museum. A museum. museum. What can you do at a museum? You can watch the uh, paint, yeah, I don't know. Paintings? Paintings. Uh -huh. And pictures. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can learn about history. Uh, painting. Okay, the number four is the Airport. 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 What can you do at the airport? When you take a fly. <laughs> you can take a fly. You can wait for your relatives or friends right? coming from other countries. Okay, what about this picture? Laundry. 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 She's doing the laundry. <laughs> yeah, you can do the laundry, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, what about the next one? Uh, I think so, it's a beauty, a beauty salon. 
What can you do at the beauty salon, Pierce? You can cut the, your hair. You can get a haircut. You can get, your, you get a haircut. Okay. <laughs> You can do your hair, you can do your nails. You can do your fits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, what about what, the next place? Gym. Uh, at the gym. At the gym. At the gym. What can you gym. do at the gym? You can work yes, out. Exercise. Can exercise. <laughs> Yes, you can get in shape. <laughs> okay, and the woman, where is the woman? She's waiting for the bus. I don't know. Bus station, maybe? A bus stop or bus stop? bus stop? Okay, it looks like a bus stop, right? Or bus station, yes. Bus stop. You can wait for the bus. Okay, very good. We have more places in the next slide. What do you think this place is? A library. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the library. Yes, it's the library. Huh? It's the library. What can you do at the library? You can do read a book. You can read a book. You can look information. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's nice. Um okay, what about the next one? A train station? The train station. What can you do at a train station? Waiting for the train or buy a ticket. Exactly. Okay, then we have the uh, playground. A playground. Okay, a playground. Or a park. Or a park. Yes. And what can children do there? They can play with other children. <laughs> yeah, they can have fun. And what about this one? Look at the giraffe. Okay. So, that is the big. It's a house. Zoo. 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 What can you do at zoo? Oh, I can see animals. You can see many animals. And well, we have to hear the theater again. <laughs> then next to the theater we have you can you can uh, enjoy the uh, habitat. I don't know the the nature. You can enjoy the nature there at the zoo. Yes. Okay. What about this one, guys? Do you yes, have office. Okay. Office. Office. The post the office. office. Yes, the post office. Mm hmm. And what you can, can you say later? <laughs> You can send a letter. letter, you can set a package. Mm -hmm. uh, good. Have you ever used the post service? Have you ever used the post service? Sorry, Heather? Uh, hotel. Ah, okay. The next one is a hotel. What can you do at a hotel? You can rent a room. You can stay. You can stay in the room. <laughs> you sleep there. And finally, what is it? Plant the garden. Uh, the garden. Uh, mm. Yes. What can you do at the garden? You can see a uh, plant. Yeah, the plants, the flowers, and you can plant or you can water the plants. Great. Thank you for your participation. Okay, so in these activities, we were using cans. Oh, we still have more. 
What is this place? A cinema? Yeah. A cinema or a movie theater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cinema or movie theater. And there, over there, you can? You can pizza? watch the movie. <laughs> you can watch the movie and you can um, eat popcorn. <laughs> but I think the cinema or movie theater is this one. And the one, maybe it's the food court. The one is pizzeria. It, yeah, it's behind, say, some something like cinema. So I thought it was the cinema. Yeah, I thought it was. The cinema too, but it's the food court and this is the cinema. And finally, uh, we have here the pools. Swimming pool. The swimming pools where you can swim. And we have your favorite place. School. School. Uh, classroom. <laughs> the classroom. What can you do in the classroom? You learn. Uh, you can learn important things. Hey, very nice. Thank you. To go over the next. Good. So now it's time to check the homework. Did you do the homework? No. Yes, Excellent. Okay, I would like a uh, one or two volunteers to share with the class the homework. I already sent you my homework at chat, teacher. Ah, yeah. Chat. Can you read it? Can you read it? Okay, I'm gonna try. Playita Beach is a pretty hot but very interesting place. It is in the eastern part of the La Union. It has very beautiful cabins where you can eat a lot of seafood. People in Playita Beach is hardworking, polite, and extremely friendly. You can get a boat and go to the closest islands. Um, it's an amazing place. Don't lose the chance to go to Playitas Beach. Very good. Thank you, Milagro. Good My job. pleasure, teacher. Yes. Uh, just the pronunciation of cabins. 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 Yes. Where you can okay. eat a lot of a lot of seafood. Okay. A lot of Very nice. Uh -huh. I said cabins, right? Yes. Okay. Thanks, Thank teacher. you, Milagro. Okay, I need another person to share with the class their paragraph. Geraldine? Okay. Chicago is really beautiful. It is now of the Windy City. It has a lot of, of museums and parks to visit. Many tourists come here. It is very nice to walk in the street. So there are a lot of crowds and noisy. And noise. Okay. Yes, yeah, thank you, Eraline. Good job. Thank you for sharing. One more person. One more volunteer to share the paragraph about the interesting places for tourists between the a, home, a city or hometown. Mm -hmm. Just one more. Mary and Daniela, do you have the parada? Uh, it's a little short. But... Don't worry, go ahead. Okay. San Salvador is a very interesting and commercial place. You can go to the downtown and see a lot of historical architecture. That's it. Okay. <laughs> <It's really short. laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> okay, thank you so much. Very good. Okay, so if you did it, excellent for you, okay? Because it's for you to practice your writing skills and organizing your ideas in English, okay? Very nice. So now let's start with this. We have six word landmarks, famous landmarks. We have uh, six places. The Grand Canyon, Arizona, US, the Love, the Love Paris, France. The Pyramid Giza, Egypt. The Colosseum, Rome, Italy. Sugar Love Mount, Sugar Love Mountain in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And Tap Mahal, Agra, India. So you will uh, number uh, the places according to, in order from most interesting to the least interesting for you. Okay, so put the places you would like to visit in order from most interesting one to least interesting six. For example, in my case, uh, for me, my number one would be the Grand Canyon. My number two would be the Pyramid Giza. My number three, Sugar Love Mountain in Rio de Janeiro. My number four, the Taj Mahal. The number five, the Colosseum Rome. And for me, the least interesting is the Lowry Paris Friends, in my opinion. What about you? Mm -hmm. Which places would you like to visit and why? Or, most, okay, Mary Daniela. To the most interesting, to the least interesting, at least for me. I think I'm going to start with the Coliseum Rome, in Italy. Then I go to the, the Louvre, Paris. And then in the Sugarloaf Mountain in Brazil. Then I go to the Tag Mahal. Then the Pyramid. The pyramids, I don't know if I pronounced that right. Yes, pyramids. Pyramids. These are on Egypt. And the last one, the Grand Canyon on Arizona. <laughs> okay, so we have different <laughs> opinions because I find it very interesting. I would like to be there and watch the sunset in oh, the Grand yeah. Canyon. Okay, but that's me, right? Now, the other question is, which interesting places around your country or the world have you already visited? Which interesting places have you visited? Don't tell me that, I mean, I know everyone has visited at least one interesting place in their lives around El Salvador or around other countries? Juan David, what places have you visited? What interesting places have you visited? El Pital, Cerro Verde, a volcano, and may maybe a beautiful beach. Place is uh, Puerta del Diablo. Oh, you have visited La Puerta del Diablo, the yes. mountains. Okay. Any other person?
You are very modest. You don't want to say that you have traveled to other countries. <laughs> My case, my case. I... Sorry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Go, Daniela. In my case, I visit this place that is called Rio Chiquito in Chalatenango. Rio Chiquito, yes. Yeah. I it's on the way to El Pital. Yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting place. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. And Patricia? <laughs> In my case, I visited uh, Suchitlan Lake in Suchitoto. Suchitlan Lake, okay. And what other places around the world would you like to visit and why? Other places around the world that you would like to visit? I would like to visit Machu Picchu. My brother, my brother went to Machu Picchu two years ago. So I would I I saw amazing pictures that he took there. So I would like to go to Machu Picchu one day. What about you? You can express your dreams here in the class. Let's see, but uh -huh. someone, Mirna, Andrea, Juan Jose, Kevin, Sandra, well, where would you like to go? What places would you like to visit? Um, I would like to visit. Um, I, I forget. <laughs> So, I don't know Oh, you forgot, Patricia. I <laughs> forget, I'm sorry. What is the, the country? It was the the mundial the mundial de fútbol pasado. Qatar. Qatar. Okay. I would like visit to Qatar. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, Luis Ibria, would you like to say something? Yes, Luis. We don't listen to you, Luis. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. I would like to visit uh, Machu Picchu. You would like to visit Machu Picchu too, okay. Yes. And also I would like to go to Yellowstone Park in the United States. And the Yellowstone has bears, these animals, I would like to go there. A little bit. Then you're with doing... also yogi, with also yogi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, somebody said she Emilia wants to go to Japan. Yes, it's a nice place too, with a lot of culture and different food. Okay, thank you. You see, you see, I know you you want to, you would like to visit different places around the world. Okay, let's go over the next. Conversation, what should I do there? Okay, we are have a conversation between Jason and Claudia and I need two people who can be them and read the conversation. Two volunteers to read the conversation? Okay, Beatriz and... I didn't see who was the other. Me. Patricia, okay. okay. Ana and Patricia. You start, Ana. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? 
Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay, it's on my list now. Anything else? You shouldn't meet the Diego Rivera murals. They they are incredible. So, and you can walk around the historic center. That's so perfect. And what about the food? What should what should I eat? You can meet the sweet food, the tacos, barbecue, fruit, it are it's all delicious. Thank you so much. So they, uh, this person, uh, Jason, is going to travel, right? He's going to visit Mexico City. And so uh, he's asking, what should I do there? And uh, Claudia suggests, you should definitely visit. You should visit the National Museum of Anthropology. And you shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. They are incredible. What about the food? Why should I eat? You can't miss the street food. The Mexican tacos, the Mexican tortas, right? I, I would like to visit Mexico and try the original Mexican food because I love tacos. I love Mexican food. I, I like it so much. So if you... If you're going to travel to Mexico, take me with you. <laughs> you like spicy food. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Anna? Do you like spicy food? A spicy food, yeah. A spicy food. Mm -hmm. with, yes. with a lot of chili pepper yeah. and lemon. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so if you notice here, uh, the structure that the person is using is should. Should. Okay, should is used to give suggestions. Should or shouldn't. Mm -hmm. To give suggestions. For example, if you visit El Salvador, you should eat pupusas. You should try pupusas at Los Planes de Renderos, for example. Or you should uh, try the crazy corn. Lote Loco, the crazy corn. And, and you should go to Surf City and try seafood, for example. So should is used for suggestions. And it's like a, when you recommendation. Exactly, to give recommendations. Very good. So over here, and you know that can is, a, is used to say what you can do, right? Activities that are possible uh, to be done at the place in this context. So let's complete these conversations using can or can't, should or shouldn't. Number one. I can decide where to go on my vacation. Excellent. Oh, I can't decide where to go on my next vacation. You. You should. You should go to Morocco. Exactly. You should go to Morocco. It's my favorite place to visit. Okay. Very nice. Second conversation. I'm planning to go to Puerto Rico next year. When do you think I... Should go. I should go. What is the best time to go? What, when do you think I should go? You can. Oh. Okay, you can go anytime. Can go anytime. The weather is nice almost all year, no problem. Number three. It's a I question. I can I? Can I rent? It's a question. Can I rent a car when I arrive in New York? What do you recommend? No, you should definitely use the subway. Ah, okay. So it's the 
It says can or should. 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 Exactly. It's asking, should I? It's asking for advice or suggestions. Should I rent a car when I arrive in New York? What do you recommend? No. No. You should. You should. You should, right? You should definitely use the subway. It's fast and not too expensive. So renting a car in New York is very expensive. And number four. When where I where can I? Okay. Where can I get where can I get some nice jewelry jewelry in Istanbul? You can use you shouldn't you shouldn't you can't right you can't use the Grand Bazaar. It's the best place for bargain. Okay, and the last conversation. What? What show? What can? What can I see? What can I see from the Eiffel Tower? You can see all of Paris, but in bad weather, you can't, you can't see anything. You can't see anything. Very nice. Thank you for uh, participating. So in here, we have the modal verbs can and should. They are used, the structure is the same for can and should. The subject, the auxiliary can or should, and the base form of the verb, the base form. What can I do in Mexico City? You can walk around the historic center. You can't miss the street food. You have to try the street tacos. What should I see there? What should I see? Should see, I see? You should visit the National Museum of Anthropology. And you shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. You should go there. So as you notice, that is the, the structure. The subject in affirmative should or can and the verb in base form. For example, in this brief, in this slide, we have some questions about the our country. What time of year should you go there? What can you do for free? What are three things you can do there? And what shouldn't a visitor miss? So let's try to make some sentences using this structure and those questions. For example, imagine you are giving recommendations to someone. What can you say? You should wash the car. Mm, okay, about tourism. Like things that this person should or can do in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. You should go to Alaquilta to eat some pupusas. Okay. Let's say you should eat pupusas from Alaquilta. So we use should and eat. Should 
eat. We don't say you should to eat or you should eat it. That's incorrect. We just use the base form, you should eat. What else? Miss, you should take a shower. <laughs> okay, you should take a shower after swimming in the pools. Right? And what things can you do in El Salvador? You can go to You can the... visit a, a Yucorno in Mexican, in Mexicano. Can you repeat that? Bit? You can visit a Yucodromo in Mexicanos. Okay, you can visit the Yucodromo. Where is that? It's a place where, pe where people sell yuca. In, Mex in Mexicanos, it's very famous. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> that also, is new for me. <laughs> it's new for you. I went yeah. once with my family. Sí, but also, la, you, sh you can be. Y, y es muy blandita la yuca y la pueden servir con todo lo que ustedes quieran: carne de cerdo, o sea, y la compañía de todo lo que quieran. So you can eat yuca with. Whatever you want, fish, fry fish, or pork. Uh huh. And or you can go to Salcuatitan. Salcuatitan is also a place where you can eat delicious yuca. But Mexicanos is in San Salvador, right? So we have can and the verb visit, right? Mm hmm. You can eat cocktails uh, near the sea. Now with this new place, the Surf City, you can go to Surf City to eat cocktails, right? Okay, so as you notice, that is the structure. Subject, should, or can, and the verb in the base form. That is in the affirmative. Yes, Marine. Teacher, teacher, I, I have a doubt, doubt uh, because uh, should is like a recommended, but the can is when just I sell uh, a, a possibility. A possibility. Uh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, they have different meanings. The meaning is different, but the structure. The structure is the same because they are modal verbs. So we have subject, should, or can, plus the verb in base form. Do you have a question, Daniela? Yeah, teacher. Well, I have a question about the grammar structure because I've been seeing before when you mix the shoe in a con conjunction, no, in a contraction. Uh, like shoulda. Ah, uh, that is the negative. No, like, like, I write, I write, I wrote that in the chat. Okay. Teacher, then the shoe uh, and can is, is the same. No. In, in not, not in meaning, Anna. Should is for recommendations. Can is for possibilities or abilities. But in this case, possibilities. In this case, in this when, case. Uh, when the when, uh, can and true is principal verb, uh, the main is chain. <laughs> huh? Okay, in general, should is used for suggestions or recommendations in general, okay? Can is used for possibilities or abilities or permission. But in this case, 
we are using can for possibilities. For example, one possibility when you come to El Salvador is that you can visit the Yucodromo. You can eat cocktails near the ocean. Uh, you can go to the mountains and to the and to the beach the same day. Um, um, you Fisher, can. Can I can I say, for example, uh, you can lend me your shoes. Okay, in that case, it's like asking for permission. Can you lend uh -huh. me your shoes? Okay. Uh -huh. Can think, or asking I, for help? Can you help me with this homework? Or asking for permission? Can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> okay. I think so. I understand. <laughs> no. Now, yeah. Okay. Sometimes one model verb, one model verb can have like different functions. La función, the function could be different. But in this case, it's for possibilities. Now, Daniela's question about the use of a should have, should have. Yeah. That is, Daniela, the contraction or should have. And well, this is advanced English. And the structure is like this. I should have done that. For example, I should have done that, or I should have done that, or I shouldn't have done that. Uh, is subject should have a um, past perfect or past participle, past participle of the verb. And it mean and the meaning is for regrets. Come on. Uh, no debí o debí haber hecho eso. Debí haber hecho eso. But that is advanced English, so you will study that in the future. Okay, so right now, just subject, should, and the base form of the verb. For the negative, is the same. We just add not. For example, <coughs> Okay, things that you should, if you visit El Salvador, I would use the contracted form because it's most common. You can say you should not or you shouldn't, right? Um, you shouldn't take a lot of cash, for example. If you travel by bus, You shouldn't take a lot of cash with you if you travel by bus, right? Um, what else? You shouldn't drink water from the sink, right? Del chorro. You shouldn't drink water from the sink because you can get sick. Right? You shooting a lot of pork. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, some people don't eat it, right? You shouldn't eat too much pork. Okay, you can get sick. That is in the case of shouldn't. Now, things that you cannot do here in El Salvador. For example, if you are Chinese, you can eat dogs, right? <laughs> you can eat dogs because we are not in China. So you can eat dogs. What else? Si ladra, si ladra está crudo. <laughs> you can eat bats. <laughs> bats, insects. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Murciélago? Uh, oh, bats. Bats. Yeah. Bats. Or other thing is like, um, yeah, help me. Things that you cannot do here in our country because it's forbidden, it's illegal. You can eat turds. Okay, you can't eat or buy because it's also forbidden. You can't buy total eggs. 
Right? Mm -hmm. Very yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. So we have the contracted part shouldn't and can't. Right? Shouldn't and can't. Now, in questions, it's very easy because the only thing we have to do is to put should or can at the beginning. For example, should I rent? Should I rent a car or should I use public transportation? Should I rent a car or should I use public transportation? Should I stay in a hotel or should I rent a house? Mm, another thing could be, um, can I pay with cards? Can I pay with credit card? <clears throat> can I walk on the street at night? Mm -hmm. Can you try to make examples? Your examples with can or should? You can share them in the chat. Meanwhile, while you do that, I'm going to take the attendance because it's almost time to finish the class and I haven't taken the attendance. Okay, try to make your questions or sentences using should and can. Let's see. Um, Aleida Samira Guadalupe. Present teacher. Yeah. Ana Beatriz yeah. Maite de Lopez. Yeah. I'm here. Andrea Estera Costa. No lo termino este, pero. Andrea. Here, Miss. Okay. Brandon Steven yeah. Gomez. Brandon Steven, Caleb Ariel Rivera. Present teacher. I'm here. Eh, Brandon, okay, Brandon. En Caleb. Hello. Okay, Caleb. Efraín Emilio. Geraldine Lisset. Present. Okay, Efraín. Okay, Geraldine. Eh, Heaven. Virginia. Thank you. Ingrid Maricela Flores. Present. Uh, Irma Adriana Segura. Present teacher. Jacqueline Vanessa Garcia Sánchez. Present. José Alejandro Vaquerano. Absent. Juan David Madrid. Present teacher. Present, 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 present. <laughs> okay, Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Juan. Julio Cesar Alfaro Bonilla. Absent. Kevin Josías Flores. Presente. Thank you, Kevin. Lorena de Los Ángeles Mengiba. I'm here, teacher. Luis Ernesto Cibrián Montoya. Present teacher. María José Najarro Mengíbar. Present teacher. Erin Daniela Carranza. Present teacher. Milagro de la Paz Jiménez. Here I am, Miss. Okay, Mirna Yanet Landos de Luna. Present teacher. Patricia Esmeralda García Funes. Present teacher. Sandra Elisa Veracencio. Sandra Asensio. Sandra Corea. Present. Sandra Rivas. Present, teacher. Sandra Mosa. Sandra Mosa. Stephanie Quintanilla. Stephanie Quintanilla. I saw her. Eh, Valeria del Carmen Alfaro. 
Valeria del Carmen. Najarri. Ah, okay. ok, thank you so much. Very good. So let's let's see the, the examples that you wrote. Let me see. Let's see, you wrote, can I buy a lot of ice cream? <laughs> should I buy street food or cook something at home? They should see games, Central American. Ah, <laughs> they should see the Central American game, eh, games, okay? You should use Uber or in driver. Can it, mm. <laughs> can it rain, rain this evening? Remember with can or should? You use the base form, okay? Nelson Serón, no lo mencioné, okay, right now, Nelson. You are right, Nelson Adán Serón. Okay, guys, thank you so much for connecting to the class. Uh, please work in the platform as much as you can. You have to finish section one and two this week, and I will see you on Monday. See you Monday, have a nice weekend. See you Monday, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.